Hello everyone, I'm Digital Kingdom Editor, or DKE for short, and I'm thrilled to welcome you to the very first devlog of Labyrinthophobia. This devlog is going to go over what this game is supposed to be, my vision for it, what I have done so far for the game, and what I'm hoping to achieve by the next devlog. Timestamps are on screen now if you'd like to jump to a particular section in this video. Without further ado, let's get into it. So what exactly is Labyrinthophobia? Picture this, you're wandering through dimly lit corridors, your heart racing with every step knowing that danger lurks around every corner. That's the essence of labyrinthophobia, a chilling exploration of the fear of mazes and the unknown. There's a good number of inspirations behind labyrinthophobia. I imagine the immersive body cam experience of Unrecord, the spine-chilling horror of Depart, and the procedural maze generation and different enemy types of Lethal Company all combined into one adrenaline-pumping adventure. Let's dive a bit deeper into each of these inspirations. Unrecord is an FPS shooter that revolves around the really cool and unique idea of utilizing a body cam to show gameplay, and it looks extremely realistic. This was my first source of inspiration, as I thought the body cam effect and how realistic it looked was absolutely insane to me. So I wanted the game that I made to revolve around the idea of being a body cam experience. This body cam gameplay inspired from Unrecorded was further advanced by Depart, which is also an FPS shooter that utilizes the body cam style of gameplay. But the difference that it has to Unrecorded is that it's a horror game, and it's done pretty well for it being a prototype at the time that this devlog is released. The realistic look of the game combined with the horror elements it presents is just fantastic, so I wanted my game to be some kind of body cam horror game. Lethal Company is the last game that gave me inspiration to have mazes and labyrinths become a core component of my game. I always thought it was extremely cool when procedurally generated elements existed in video games, and Lethal Company is no exception to this, with a really cool way that it can piece together a unique dungeon environment. I also really like the way that Lethal Company has very cool, very different entities, as it makes the dungeons feel much more dangerous as you have no idea what monsters you're stuck with inside of those dungeons. With these inspirations out there in the open, let me go ahead and paint a picture of the general game flow that I have in my head. In Labyrinthophobia, players will start their journey armed with nothing but a pistol, a feeble flashlight, and a dash of courage. As you navigate through the labyrinth, your objective is clear, survive at all costs. But beware, you're not alone. Hostile entities lurk in the shadows, ready to strike when you least expect it. After each harrowing encounter, players will have the chance to visit the shop and upgrade their gear, whether it's replenishing ammo, enhancing your flashlight, or investing in powerful weapons. Every decision can mean the difference between life and death. That's my generalized vision for it. I would like to say that I think this is going to be a really cool project to do, but please know that at least for now, I do plan on keeping the game to a smaller scale. At the time of making this devlog, I am currently the only one that will be working on this game, and I don't want to try to make something that's too ambitious with how little time I might have to work on this game. I plan to make this game an Unreal Engine. I have always made games in Unity and have put some stuff out there on itch.io that was developed in Unity, but for my purposes, I am to focus more on graphics with this game, as I feel as though Unreal Engine does a great job with that aspect. Please note that this will be my first anticipated, fully completed Unreal project, as I have messed around with Unreal Engine before but never did release a final product of anything due to having to abandon those projects, so my knowledge of Unreal Engine is a bit limited at this point in time. Please keep all this in mind as I explain what I have done so far. The body cam viewpoint has a working draft. This is something that I have more or less already achieved, and you can see the effect on screen now. Where the camera is almost like a warped fisheye with film grain, chromatic aberration, and a certain sharpness applied to make it look like a real body cam and make the game look a little bit more realistic overall. Of course, this is not 100% complete and not 100% for sure uh, what this effect will look like in the final product, but this is a start. Basic character movement has been implemented. As I started out this project with the FPS starter project, the FPS project came with moving with the WASD keys, jumping by pressing the spacebar, and looking around by using the mouse. What wasn't included was the sprinting functionality, as well as the stamina bar to keep track of a player's stamina. Sprinting in the mazes will be crucial to stay alive, and naturally, you get tired after sprinting, so the stamina bar is something of a necessity for this game. A flashlight system is in place. It can be toggled on and off by pressing the F key. And while it's probably not going to be your only light source in the labyrinths, the flashlight will absolutely be crucial to your visibility in the maze. On this note, I have also added a night vision mode, as I think it would be cool to be able to buy some kind of night vision goggles in the shop in order to increase your visibility even more. As I haven't worked too much on this project so far, there isn't much to show for it at this point in time, but I will go over what I plan to have done by the next devlog. A VHS overlay. I have always loved the VHS filter effect, and it works really well in analog horror games, just due to the old timey, creepy feel of it. I'm not sure if a VHS overlay would look strange on a body cam, but 
I'll have to test that out to see if it's something I'll keep or not. And I'm hoping it works. Well, just because I love the VHS filter so much. Weapon Sway. Depart does a pretty good job at this, where it feels like there's a bit of delay when you look around, as if your head looks around first, then your gun arm follows shortly after. I think this would be a nice effect to have to help give a little bit more realism to the game. Crouching. This is something I'm not entirely sure if I need, but I think just in case, it's something that I'll implement as character movement, just so it's there and can be used as needed. Maze Generation. I do admit that I have never really made any kind of procedural generation of any kind, uh, much less an Unreal Engine, so realistically, procedurally generated mazes might not be implemented the way you think. For now, I want to manually create the labyrinths and figure out how to randomly spawn them once the game starts. So that way, while it's not exactly a randomly generated maze, I'm hoping it will be random enough and there should be enough variation in the created mazes to where each maze will feel unique. However, if I do find a way to procedurally generate mazes, I will most definitely do that. And there you have it folks, a glimpse into the world of Labyrinthophobia. Join me on this thrilling adventure as we delve deeper into development in the future devlogs. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on all things with Labyrinthophobia. My name is Digital Kingdom Editor, DKE for short, and I'll see y'all in the next one.